Welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to look at the Zoom stock and whether or not this is a good stock to buy, to hold on for the long term or to sell. So before we continue, this is my personal analysis of this uh, stock. And before anybody sells or buys uh, this stock, they should conduct their own uh, analysis before doing so. So what we do is that we look at this company and we look at the product itself. Is this a good product? Do they have competitive advantage? Is it easy for other companies to enter this marketplace and start competing with this company? Then we look at its financials. Uh, and, and lastly, we look at the technical analysis part. So at the end of this video, we will grade this um, stock with stars. Uh, one star being that this stock is significantly overvalued and it's a shorting um, opportunity. Two stars being it's fairly overvalued. Three stars, it's uh, neutral and probably a hold position. Four stars, this is fairly uh, undervalued. And five stars is that this company is stock is significantly undervalued. So Zoom has been uh, one of these companies that has benefitly, benefited significantly uh, from the coronavirus. So Zoom is a communication uh, company which provides communication software, similar to Skype, Teams, and, and so on. And it has been the go-to uh, software for people that have been working at home. So when governments around the world uh, issued uh, stay-at-home orders, uh, many people um, started working at home, especially people that work at offices, uh, teachers, and and so on. So they didn't, uh, they were not fired, and so on. They basically uh, continued their work at home, and soon was uh, the go-to um, software for most of these employees. Um, so they've had a lot of good news and this is probably the main reason why this stock has increased so significantly over time. So I've tried many products that are very similar to Zoom. So Skype is one, Teams is one, and there are a lot of other companies. So a barrier to entry to this market, it is it's very easy. For somebody to create a similar product and start competing with Zoom, which should basically decrease the value of this company significantly. So uh, I've tried Skype for many years. I've tried Teams for many years. And because of all the buzz around this, uh, this uh, software, I technically had to try it. And to be fair, honest, I was not impressed. I did not see what I got from using Zoom that I did not get from Skype or Teams. Um, actually, I preferred using Teams mainly because it doesn't cost. It costs to use the whole package of the Zoom software. If you only have a free version, then you can use a conference call that is around 30 minutes, something like that. And if you want to have conference calls that are um, longer than that, then you have to pay. And that just makes it really odd. Why in the world would I use a product where I have to pay when I can use other products that are very similar where I don't have to pay? So I don't really know why people went to this software, why it became so popular. Um, I can see a lot more benefits that this uh, that this um, software could um, could gain if it was technically free. So there are many, for example, uh, gamers and so on. They will never use a software where you have to buy to pay. The same goes for students. They will never use a software where you have to pay for it and so on. So this is for. Um, for people that technically have money, that have a very good income. So this is basically for companies and institutions and so on. So the, the, there is a lot of limitations to who will basically use this product. Because 40 minutes 
it's not a very long time. I'm a teacher and my classes will last more than 40 minutes. I will never use this product. Never, ever. Uh, my, uh, I will go to Teams or I'll go use Skype if I have to use uh, make a conference call with my, my students and so on. Um, so barrier to entry, it is technically this market is wide open. Anybody can go in and, and basically make a similar uh, product and start competing with Zoom. And that is one of my, what I don't really understand. This is technically old technology. This is not, not something completely new. If this was the new iPhone or something like that, I would understand why uh, there would be so much buzz around this product. But this is really old technology. I was using similar technology back in 1997, like a webcam. I could talk to my, my, my friends and the people I were playing uh, computer games with and so on. It's technically the same thing. There's nothing special about this whatsoever. So therefore, in the long run, I'm pretty sure this company will have significant, will be really tough for them to compete with, uh, for example, Apple, Microsoft, Google, and any other kind of a big company that uh, if they see that this market is very profitable, which is it has become, soon will basically have no chance competing against Microsoft or Google or any of those uh, big software companies. So if we go to the, um, this company's financial, so of course this company is making money. Uh, their revenue has been increasing for, uh, for the last quarters and the last um, earnings were out of this world, which was expected because this has been the uh, company that uh, or the software that most people have gone to in this corona period in order to work at home and it has gotten so much good news that it would be really strange if their their uh, their revenue uh, didn't increase or and their profit didn't increase so that is a as a good thing but will that last in the long run my guess is no, it will not last in the long run. If this is a permanent state that that uh, the coronavirus will last forever and people will have to work a majority of their time at home and so on, then this may last uh, in the medium run. But in the long run, no, because you will have other companies um, developing similar products or even better products. There are even there are actually better products out there uh, uh, that are competing with Zoom already. So this will be a really crowded marketplace, and their market gap will uh, uh, market share. I'm sorry, would uh, decrease significantly over time. But if we look at this stock price, so the last 52 weeks. It has been trading from sixty dollars to two hundred and twenty-four dollars in fifty-two weeks. That is almost four hundred, near four hundred percent in fifty-two weeks. And if if you go basically look at when this growth started, it was basically in December. It was trading around sixty, seventy dollars in in the, the beginning of December. And now in June, it is trading at around $207. Uh, on uh, Thursday, I think it was the highest, it was 224 And that is only in a few months, have, uh, in a few months' time. Um, it has increased nearly 400%. It's almost exponential uh, growth. So... There is one ratio that stands out when you look at this stock, technically whether or not it is a cheap stock or if it is a is a is a is a um, it's a high value stock, and that is the PE ratio. So the PE ratio for this stock is five thousand nine hundred and thirty one, and price to earning. The lower this number is, the cheaper the stock. 
I actually have never seen a PE ratio of 5,931. I've never ever seen that before. When I look at stocks, I usually look at stocks that are around three to five, like single digits. Uh, some of the big companies, uh, the tech companies, have gone uh, past the 20, uh, 20 in uh, the PE ratio. But 5,931, that is an indicator that this stock is grossly overvalued. And Yahoo uh, Finance also gives this indication that this uh, stock is going to, to uh, is technically at the moment, really, really overvalued. So if we compare this stock to um, another tech company, for example, Apple, we can see that Apple's PE ratio is at the moment uh, uh, 27. It's... So comparing um, Zoom, which is over 5,000, and Apple, that is 27. So even though a PE ratio of 27 is, is fairly high, um, it is not a stock that you should go and, and buy at the moment. It is a fairly expensive stock. And when you do then look at Zoom, which is at over 5,000, that is just crazily expensive stock so at the moment apple is also fairly overvalued so their earnings are just fine this company is making money and as long as it is making money then the future is is uh, is is good for this company um but I'm guessing in the short run, they will make money. As long as this um, crisis lasts, they will make money. In the medium and long run, no. I'm pretty sure that their revenue will uh, drop significantly and uh, their share price will probably also uh, drop significantly because you will have other companies you know, starting competing with, with Zoom. And... Uh, that just means that they will have fewer subscribers and uh, less income. And therefore, they will basically lose a lot of their uh, market, uh, which they have been gaining the last uh, five to six months. So if we look at the technical analysis, we can see that this stock has basically exploded from the beginning of December or the beginning of of the corona virus uh, and all the way to june it has nearly uh, increased with roughly 400 uh, percent and it's probably one of the fastest growing uh, stocks in this period while every every stock has been declining the zoom stock has been increasing and what is probably uh, interesting is every single time they have released earnings. For example, here they release their earnings. You can see that we have a massive spike and then the stock falls. And this has happened uh, nearly every time they've had uh, a release. Um, so you see it here and so on. You have a, have a big spike and then the stock declines. So people that... Uh, are trading this in the short run um, every time you basically they announce an earning uh, it is an opportunity to sell the stock that's how the stock has be, been behaving otherwise the support levels you can see that the 50 uh, MA moving average has been a significant uh, support level every time we have had a reduction in price, it has hit the 50, uh, 50 moving average and then it has bounced again and again. So we have uh, one, two, three, and four. And if I were to make an estimate, I would also guess that this decrease in price here will hit the moving 50 moving average somewhere around here, somewhere around uh, $107 before it starts uh, moving up again. 
So this is the short run. So I expect this stock to continue to increase. And the main reason is that at the moment we are still uh, living with the coronavirus. Uh, we may get a second wave, which will further increase the value of this stock because it has just media is talking about the stock constantly, even though there are several other products out there. Uh, but if we do not have a second wave and things go back to normal, then I would expect this to decrease significantly more if people go back to work as they used to do in their offices and in schools, university, and, and so on, then we should expect the stock to go back to the levels that were prior to the coronavirus, which is around $60, $70 per share. Uh, but if this continues and there are um, no significant uh, competitors out there, even though there are software com softwares that are uh, available that are just as good as this one. But if we constantly hear the same good news about this uh, specific uh, software, then the price will continue upwards. We can see that every time that this stock has crossed over uh, the, the Bollinger Band, it has decreased. It has gone almost all the way back to the lower Bollinger Band and then up again. And then, and so on and so on. If we look at uh, RSI, we can see that this um, it is uh, 64. So this is uh, fairly overbought at the moment. And we can see that uh, it is going down. So, so we will, that is the same as we can see here. This will basically continue down until we hit the 50 moving average and then will most likely bounce again. So we will see the MACD crossing uh, uh, crossing the signal line here and um, we will see a decrease of this stock uh, to around uh, 170 or something like that. Stochastic also shows that uh, momentum is uh, downwards and we will have a decrease in this price. So this is a short run. In the long run, it all depends how long this crisis lasts. It all uh, depends on whether or not you have significant competitors which will get the same amount of good news as this company has received the last uh, five to six months. So the question is, is this a good stock to buy? In the short run, I would say it will most likely decrease in value until it hits the 50 moving average and then it will continue up again that will probably last for another uh, probably uh, four to six weeks in the long run it all depends whether or not the coronavirus uh, will see a second wave of the coronavirus and if we have competitors that will start competing competing with zoom because at the moment, Zoom is uh, stealing all the headlines. So for some uh, weird reason, uh, people are not talking about uh, Skype or Teams or any other, other software in the same way they're talking about Zoom. Zoom has just stolen all the headlines when it comes to communication in this uh, coronavirus period. Uh, but my long run forecast for this company is very bleak. I do not believe that this company uh, will be valued at, the stock will be valued at over 200 in the long run. We can also just look at the PE ratio. It shows that this, uh, the value of this stock is grossly overvalued. It is extremely expensive. And when you also look at this software that there is no barrier to entry. They don't have a painter that shows, says to the other companies, you cannot compete in this communication because this is really old technology. Then there are several other companies that have similar products out there. And um, if Zoom continues uh, with its earnings, you will most likely see these big companies, Google and uh, Microsoft and so on, 
um, starting to uh, pour money into their own softwares and they will continue uh, start uh, competing with Zoom, which basically will steal market shares from, 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 from Zoom and uh, therefore in the long run, uh, the value of its stock will uh, decline. But yes, so my long-term uh, estimate for this uh, for the stock is that first of all it is at the moment grossly overvalued and in the long run it will decrease significantly and my best estimate it will decrease all the way back to its prior uh, state uh, before the uh, coronavirus hit hits so hope you enjoyed this uh, uh, analysis and uh, if you want to see more of these videos you're welcome to subscribe to our channel and to click the like and bell button in order to uh, to be notified when we release another uh, video similar to this one thank you very much